Hey guys, thanks for joining us. This is Noel McCrabb from Back Up My Business. You've got IT questions and we got answers. In today's tutorial video, we're going to join a Windows 7 client machine to a small business server 2011 domain. I'm going to remote desktop over to our client and we will walk you through the process. So I'll click on remote desktop. Uh, the machine in question's name is client1. I've already put it in the box from earlier, uh, so we can just uh, click connect and off we go. Uh, I'm just going to put in a password, give it a few seconds to connect across the network. So it's a pretty easy process. Okay, uh, if you're sitting at the uh, machine obviously you won't see this message it's just a um, authentication certificate issue so we'll say yes to that so we don't see it again and here we're at our Windows 7 PC so what we're going to need to do is open up our web browser uh, Internet Explorer got to use Internet Explorer for this process and uh, give it a few seconds there okay and uh, yeah you'll probably notice this the first time you log on to a system so just fly through this express settings don't want to see that again and we're going to need to change the uh, address up here in our address bar so what we're looking for is http colon forward slash forward slash c o n n e c t for connect uh, hit enter okay so um, DNS is working okay we can see our server uh, so we're gonna have to enable intranet settings uh, for this process to work so this little bar along here gonna want to select enable intranet settings uh, say yes to your security prompt there okay now here is a little issue we need to have be running dotnet 4 uh, for this process to work if we don't got dotnet 4 it ain't gonna work uh, so quickest way we'll go out to the microsoft site uh, okay quick link hit download microsoft trying to give us a few extras there no thanks Okay guys, we'll click on this uh, bar here, security bar, download our file and let's bring .NET into the frame, hit run, all the defaults really, just get this process out of the way, Microsoft.NET, okay so we're finished there, I did fast forward that video a little bit just to expedite the process, uh, let's close our browser and we're going to want to log back in again and back to that address http colon forward slash forward slash c o n n e c t connect uh, so that's going to bring us to our sbs 2011 uh, login page and um, if you can see that big rectangular button start connect to computer program um, so we're going to want to click on that uh, and then when we get our little box coming up we're gonna want to hit run to that launcher that's a file that's stored on the server that starts the process of the uh, connection uh, between the client and the server so that'll only take a, a few seconds gonna hit run there uh, that's gonna bring us up a new window in a second uh, that'll give us various options uh, that we will talk you through okay please wait okay so in this case what we're going to do is set up this computer for other users and we're going to want to uh, have a network admin password here on the following screen hopefully we meet the requirements yes we do okay hit next and we want to enter our username um, and password here 
and that'll take care of uh, network administration authentication uh, we're going to want to hit next then once we're happy put in the username in the description box uh, as you know uh, users change over time but the best to have a static name for the client machine just for tracking purposes uh, we can see here users assigned to the computer that's okay uh, we'll hit next to that and um, in this case we can move uh, existing users if there was existing users installed on a PC we can move their data to the server uh, particularly good with the folder redirect integrated into SPS 2011 um, good for backing up purposes um, but in this case it's a clean install of Windows 7 uh, so there is not going to be any user data um, to migrate but a good feature nevertheless hit next to that and you're always going to want to set up users as local administrators on your client system or you're going to have problems installing uh, software and that uh, just creates a bit of an IT headache uh, hit next and uh, we're going to restart the computer now shortly there's one little box here at the end with the not recommended in brackets uh, it just poses a security risk if you uh, put a tick in the tick box um, basically uh, it'll allow the user to automatically log into the domain on restart after we join the domain a bit of a security risk uh, in that anybody could sit down at that PC and have domain access uh, to file shares and that type of thing um, so not recommended to tick that box uh, just in case you pop away for a cup of coffee um, so we're going to hit restart there, it's going to restart the system uh, and then we will uh, join the domain if everything goes according to plan so restart uh, you can see here the joining process is taking place okay PC is restarting okay I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll join you back in a second okay PC has restarted successfully here we can see uh, the domain prefix backslash administrator uh, so just gonna pop in the administrator password now uh, hit enter and connection of computer is complete all looking good uh, if we click the uh, finish box uh, it'll just do the final part of the setup there okay so looking good on to desktop nice desktop background if we go down to uh, start here see if we can access the ser uh, server there uh, so backslash backslash svor uh, in this case we can see all the shares it didn't ask for any uh, permissions to get in authentication de details so it does mean we have joined the domain with uh, privileges and all is good we can see various uh, shares here uh, okay guys if you go into properties you can now see your full computer name is client1.domain.local thanks for joining us on this tutorial Please like the video below if you found it informative. Subscribe to our channel for future videos. This is Noel McCrab for Back Up My Business.